Hello everyone, Avam here, and I'm welcoming you to tonight's matchup. 7 p.m. game here at Progressive Field, downtown Cleveland. It's the Cleveland Guardians versus the Erie Seawolves. Good crowd turnout tonight, and the weather is beautiful. We couldn't ask for much more. Erie Seawolves being an affiliate of the Detroit Tigers, coming from Erie, Pennsylvania, and the Cleveland Guardians from Cleveland, Ohio. Wilmer Flores is pitching for the Erie Seawolves. Look out for this one. Tonight could be a chance for some of the Seawolves players to see themselves into the majors. Batting first for the Guardians, we have Stephen Kwan. First pitch of the game, strike, count is 0-1. My name is Abam, thank you for allowing me to call the game today. Glad to be here with you. Flores delivers, count is 0-2. Looks like we have some talent on the Seawolves side of things. Let's see how they go against the major leaguers. Ball. High. One ball. Count. Two One and two now. Good contact, high in the air. Looks like they're gonna be under it. And that is the first out here in the first inning. Coming up, we have Andre Jimenez, Jose Ramirez, and Josh Naylor. Look at that beautiful Cleveland skyline. Beautiful crowd today here at Progressive Stadium. Flores is on his game. Andres Jimenez, 15 home runs. RBIs, 62. Batting average, 251. Ball, that pitch is up. Up and outside. Count one and one now. Aye. Another strike. Count one and two. One out. Top of the first. No score. Three. Swing and a miss. Jimenez strikes out. First strikeout of the game for Flores. Ball one, no strike. Ramirez jumping out of the way for that pitch. Ramirez, third base for the Guardians. 24 home runs. Count, 1-0. Oh. Flores delivers. Hey. Cutter, 90 miles an hour, strike count, one and one. Aye. Another strike in there with that fastball, count is one and two against Ramirez. Two, two to count. Puts the count at two and two with that one in the dirt. I got three and two. Ramirez again out of the way. Careful, Flores. The pitches are wild. Naylor is on deck now. Sent foul. Full count now at three and two. Ramirez is taking a small walk to first base. Now Naylor is at the plate. Another strike in there by Wilmer Flores. Naylor with 17 home runs, 97 RBIs. Maybe he can advance some runners. He's safe. Ramirez is safe at first. That leadoff wasn't that far. Flores finds his pitch and delivers. Inside. It's outside. Oh, Count is one and one. Ah. 
swing, one came ball. up with nothing. Three Count three. is one and two. I wonder what the Guardians are thinking as they're facing this affiliate team. Swung on, contact into the outfield on the ground. Runners are advanced. One runner in scoring position now. Two outs, top of the first. Ramon Loriano at the plate. Yep, that ball went out. That ball is on the outside. Count 1 0. Ramon Loriano has 12 stolen bases with us now. Is that something to worry about in today's play? Hey. Swung on. Count is 1 and 1. one. Count goes to two and one, though from where I'm sitting, that looked like a strike. Aye. Count two and two now against Loriana. Flores is keeping in the zone. Tipped foul contact keeps Loriano at the plate. Two and two. Good contact sent high into the sky into the outfield for a catch. And that brings us to the next part of the first inning. Coming up for the Seawolves, we have Malgari, Allen, and Murr. Score is 0-0, zero zero, Guardians versus Seawolves, here in downtown Cleveland. Welcome back to the game today against the Cleveland Guardians and the Erie Seawolves. Shane Bieber coming to pitch for the Guardians. He has started 21 games, 107 strikeouts, with a strikeout rate of 20.1%. Ben Malgari up at the plate now for the Erie Seawolf. Ben tips that one foul. Count 0-1 now. Low, almost in the dirt. Count one and one. Swung on, sent foul. Count is one and two. Sea Wolves do not seem daunted to face this major league team. Three. That's three. And Ben Malgari goes to take a seat in the dugout. First strikeout for Bieber. One up. One down. Strike. Count is on one. Brady Allen didn't even see it coming. I got one ball, one strike. Ball's on the outside. Count now goes to one and one. Low into the outfield. That will be a single. Evening game. Beautiful weather here in downtown Cleveland. Austin Murr at bat for the Seawolves. Bieber fires a fastball in there, 90 miles an hour. Strike one. Count is 0 and 1. Ball was on the outside, no ball, but Murr swung. Right. Counts on two now. Three. Swung on another. That puts another one into the dugout. Second strikeout for Bieber. Second out 
of this inning for the Seawolves. It was in there, just no contact. Swung on, struck out. Jace Young at bat. Safe. Returned to first with no problem. But Bieber has the right idea to keep an eye on what's going on around him. Ball inside. Outside, that ball brings the count to 1-0. Oh. This Seawolves team has young players with a lot of potential. Is it enough to face the Guardians? Hey. Swung on that one. one. Bieber looks to make him reach for it, and reach for it they are. Count one and one now. Yeah. High. Swung. One ball, two strikes. One and two is the count. With Bieber striking out Young, that ends the first and a lost attempt to bring a run home. Score is 0-0 as Cleveland Guardians face the Erie Seawolves. Up next for Cleveland, we have Naylor, Brennan, and Rocchio. Bo Naylor up now. 32 RBIs this season. Top of the second. Flores delivers. That ball is sent foul by Naylor. The count is 0-1. That's a ball. Low in the dirt, count 1-1 one, one now. 1-1. One one. one ball. Flores Who's following right? Bieber's roll. And firing him in there, getting the swing, and causing a strike, 1-2. Two. Two Outside, Who's count right? now 2-2. Two two. Naylor was ready for it, sent it high into the outfield, but the Seawolves were there to grab it. One out now, top of the second, no score, no runners on. Will Brennan up. Thirteen stolen bases. Can he put that to use now? Good eye, that one was low, count one and no. That's a ball. Flores delivers another ball high outside. Two and is the count. Hey. Flores snuck that one in there, counts two and one. It looked like a ball from where I'm sitting, but hey, not my call, not my call. Nope, outside. Outside again. On deck, we have Brian Rocchio. Counts three and one now against Will Brennan. Ball four, take the base. That one looked like a strike, but seemed to be enough to actually walk him. Registered as a ball, they say, hey? He's safe. Looks like he is trying to put those stolen bases to work already here. Rocchio at bat. Average 247. Hey. Flores fired that one in at 97 miles an hour. No home runs for Rocchio. Eight RBIs. Ah. Count 0 and 2. Rocchio looks ready. Flores fires. Contact made. Looks like it's going to be an easy grab. Second out here at the top of the second. Miles Straw coming up now for the Guardians. Flores focused. Kicks, fires. That's a 96 mile per hour strike there. Think we need to talk to this ump today? 
Somebody in the crowd tell me what they see. I got a ball Outside. Right He's in there. He's safe. Called safe. Let's take a look at that one again if we can, please. All right, he runs. Catcher has it, tosses it. Let's take a look. Definitely safe on the bag before the tag. Nice job. Brennan with another stolen base. Add it to the resume. Counts one and one on Miles Straw. Swung on, sent foul, count one and two. Good contact, good distance. Seawolf to there, and that takes us to the second half of the second. Score, 0-0. Zero, zero. Due up for the Seawolves, we have Myers, Joyce, Workman. Thank you all for joining us here at Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland. Welcome back. Chris Myers is up for the Seawolves now. Bieber on the mound for the Guardians. Beaver kicks and fires the cannon. Myers connects, sends it high. The Guardians are underneath it to put it in a glove. One down. Corey Joyce, shortstop for the Seawolves now. Takes the plate. Hey! 92 mile an hour fastball. One. Count to bow and one. one Outside, one and one now. Joyce looks determined. Ball inside. Good nerve. Counts two and one. Two balls, one strike. No, that's down. Low now. Count is three and one. On deck for the Seawolves, we have Gage Workman. That's a strike. Full count now, three and two. Swung on, sent foul. Full count, three, two. Looks like Joyce and Beeble are both trying to work on something. Beaver's plan is successful. There's the fourth strikeout for Beaver at this game. Right over, swung, no contact. Take a seat in the dugout. Ball match outside. Another outside, count one and oh. Are the Sea Wolves nervous as they face the Guardians? Or is this another day of baseball? Good contact, but sent foul. Watch your heads. Counts one and one now. Bieber delivers. Workman connects. Sent foul. Count one and two. That's Low. Ball two. Count two and two with that ball. Two two to count. Beaver is thrown 26 pitches. Good contact there from Workman. Is there enough time? Underneath it, that ends the second with that catch. Coming up for the Guardians, we have Juan Jimenez and Ramirez. Score is 0 0. Guardians versus Seawolf. Welcome back. Stephen Kwan is up. He had a pop out in the first. Making him 0 for 1 at the top of the third. Off the plate, ball one. First pitch is outside. Count 1 and 0. Good contact by Kwan. Right field is there to grab it. One out. Let's go, 
People are cheering for Erie here. Aye. Strike by Flores. Count on one. Aye. Another strike there. Count is now 0-2 against Andre Jimenez. Contact again. Right field is there. Underneath it with the grab. Two outs now, top of the third. Ramirez steps to the plate, gets ready, looks to Flores. Flores looks to Ramirez and fires. Good contact, sent foul. That part of right field is getting some souvenir foul balls today. Ramirez looks surprised. Ball. That's low. Count is one and two. Flores delivers. Contacted. Low hitter. Two first. Plenty of time. We're going to the middle of the third now. Big goose egg on the board. Zero to zero, Cleveland versus Erie. Up, Gold, Alfonso, and Malgari for the Erie Seawolves. Luke Gold steps to the plate. Bieber squares. Low. Count, 1-0 oh now. right but comes in for a strike count is one and one all two gold checked on that one count is two and one Bieber fires ah. swung on counts two and two, two now two strikes. we see a special spectator has entered the stadium that's three. Luke Gold's going to take a seat on the pine. I'd like to give a shout out to Yebenflo, who has just entered progressive field. Swung on. Struck out. Next batter. We have one out here, bottom of the third. Count is 0 and 1 against Eliza Alfonso. A lot of people here are cheering for the Erie Seawolves. One Outside. One. Count is one and one. Watch your knees. Swung on, contacted. Picked up by the third baseman. Returned to first. Two outs now. You can't make it to first if the ball gets there before you. Ben Malgari comes up to the plate. He struck out in the first inning. Ball one. Low ball. Counts one and zero. Contact sends it foul. Caught to end the third. What a grab. Guardians versus Seawolves here at Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland. Score is zero to zero. When we come back, Naylor will be up. Welcome back. Josh Naylor steps up to the plate. He's one for one today. In the first inning, he had a single. Flores remains focused. Top of the fourth. Fires the pitch. Swung on that one. Puts the count to 0-1. Good contact there. And could this be the strut? 
of something that will make their way around. Josh Naylor sends a 402 foot home run out of the park at 102.5 miles per hour. The Guardians are proud of Josh Naylor. Take a look at how easy he made this look. Right there, contact was substantial. The look, the crowd. As you can see with the stat cast presented by Google Cloud, Naylor sent it 402 feet. Cleveland is expected to win over the Seawolves today, 66% in favor. Count against Ramon Laureano is 1-0. Flores fires. Strike count is one and one. I got one ball, one strike. Good contact sent foul by Loriano. Count now one and two. Three. Swung on that one. Struck him out. Second strikeout here for Flores. Let's take a look at that again. Went in. Thought he was going to have it. Didn't end up getting a piece of it at all. Bo Naylor is up now. Got a hold of it. Send it foul. Count his own one. Last time Naylor was up, he had a fly out in the second inning. Crowd is going a little bit happy here. Aye. Seeing what's going on. No That's ball. a strike. Count is 0-2. Flores with the pitch. Ah. Swung on again. And that is another strikeout. Third strikeout here for Wilmer Flores today. Will Brennan steps up to the plate. Last time he was up at bat, he had a walk to first. Yeah. Flores throwing a strike right over the plate. Count on one. Aye. Oh two is the count. Count goes to 0 oh and two, but from where I'm sitting, that looked like a ball. Popped up. Looks like the Seawolves are there. And that shuts down that part of the fourth. Here's another look at Naylor's home run. Look at me. Made it look like nothing. So Sent that over the wall. Guardians leading the Seawolves one to nothing. Welcome back. We have Brady Allen stepping up to the plate now. He's one for one with his single in the first. Cleveland leading one to zero at the bottom of the fourth. Bieber makes his 38th pitch. A strike count is 0-1. There's a swing oh, by Brady Allen, which doesn't do anything other than get him a strike. Count is now 0-2. Oh, Contacted that one, sent it foul. Keeps Allen alive at the plate. Count remains 0-2. Oh, swung at that one, struck him out. That makes the sixth strikeout for Bieber now. Let's take a look at that again from the ump's view. Nothing there. Sends him pack it. Number eight, Austin Murr comes to the plate now. We have one out. Bieber is throwing those strikes. 94 mile an hour fastball in there. Murr struck out when he was at bat last. I 
on a ball, one strike. Counts is now one and one. Looking at that scenery, the sunlight is beautiful. Good contact into the outfield. That will be a base hit. Seawolf got a man on. Well done for Murr. Let's take a look. See, bounced right off the dirt there in the front, but it was enough to get him to first. But Seawolf's going to be able to make that single into a no, run. Or the Guardians going to shut them down. Bieber checks, kicks, and delivers. Nope, that's a ball. That's a ball outside. Count is 1-0. Oh. No one, no strike. Jace Young for the Seawolves. He struck out in the first. only one out currently good contact goes foul and that sends young back in two outs now Chris Myers up at the plate he flew out in the second still a runner on first Bieber throws a strike right off the bat there. Oh, and one is the count. Swung on. Sent to second. Return to first, and that will end the fourth. Those that have just joined us, do up for the Cleveland Guardians. We have Rokio, Strong, Quan. Cleveland leads the Seawolves one to nothing at Progressive Field. Welcome back here to the late game in Cleveland. Brian Rocchio coming up to the plate for the Guardians. He had a pop out in the second. He is 0 for 1 today. Cleveland's lead by one as we're at the top of the fifth. Good contact. Seawolves are back, back. Didn't get a hold of it. Is this going to be a double? Oh, yes. Easy double there. Rocchio with the double. Cleveland crowd on their feet. Let's take a look at it. It was right over there. Good contact. You can see the Seawolves were going back. They thought they were going to have it. Thought they were going to have it. Thought they were going to have it. But it took a bounce off that wall. Was it because it was the evening game? Who knows? But that ended up in a double for Rokio. Miles Straw is now up at the plate. Rokio there on second. You can see. Good contact. Looks like a pop-up. Could be easy. Might want to tag up. Rokio stays where he is at second. Straw takes a seat in the dugout. One out here. Stephen Kwan comes up to the plate. Flores. Focus. Ball one. Counts one. Fastball high outside. Counts one and zero. Oh. Runner in scoring position on second. Rokio's looking for a chance to go. Aye. Strike brought in there. Counts one and one. Flores has thrown 67 pitches this game. Still throwing strength. Contact. Are they there? Yes. Is there a tag up? That keeps Rokio at second. And now, the stakes are on. Are the Guardians going to get another run? Or are the Seawolves going to keep the score at one? Andres Jimenez steps up. 0 for 2 today with a strikeout and a flyout. Let's see if he can keep this inning alive. 1-0. Flores throws outside. Count 1-0. With that going foul, count is now one and one. Right. 
Jimenez contacted that. Looks like they're going to be there. And that shuts down the inning. Coming up next for the Seawolves, we have Joyce, Workman, and Gold after the break. Guardians leading one to nothing here at Progressive Field. Welcome back. Corey Joyce up now. 0 for 1 for the day. Struck out last time at bat. Bieber's 49th pitch of the game. Contacted, sent foul by Corey Joyce. Count is 0 and 1. Joyce swings on that. Count now 0 and 2. Bieber sends that one high outside. Count now 1 and 2. Good contact against the third base line. Easily grabbed, oh. nabbed, sent to first for the out. Naylor was there. Ramirez sent it. Everything looks good. Gage Workman coming up to the plate now for the Seawolves. Hey. Quick strike sent by Bieber. Counts on one against Gage Workman. Oh. Counts now one and one. Low ball. Sent foul. Count is one and two. Shane Bieber has thrown 39 strikes. 16 balls for a total of 55 pitches. Two, two. Outside now counts two and two. Is Bieber getting tired? He might have to check in with the Guardians bullpen. Outside again, full count of three and two. Luke Gold on deck for the Seawolves. Three. That's a strike. Two outs now. Seventh strikeout for Bieber of the game. Let's take a look. Over the plate. Struck out looking. Seawolves are giving it a valiant effort. Bieber faces Luke Gold now. Contacted by Gold, sent foul, count, own one. Last time Luke Gold was at bat, he struck out. Bieber is throwing the strikes today. Popped up. Looks like they're back there. Center fielder has a hand on it. And that ends the fifth. As we go into the sixth inning with this beautiful aerial shot from Progressive Field, it's the Cleveland Guardians one. Erie Seawolves zero. Do up Ramirez, Naylor, and Jimenez for the Indians. Guardians, sorry. Good catch by the Seawolves there, and that puts one out on the board. Top of the sixth. There's Naylor's home run. Seen again in beautiful show vision. Josh Naylor. Up again, two for two for the day. Oh, Outside out. now, counts 1-0. and oh. In the Seawolves bullpen, we have Brown and Michael. Who are we going to bring in to replace Flores? 73 pitches. He has pitched a good game. Outside, count 2-0 and oh now against Josh Naylor. Guess they're worried he's going to hit another home run. Counts two and one now, because that strike was right over the plate. 75th pitch, here comes the 76th. Contacted, sent foul, counts two and two. Flores, unsure of his pitch, but he seems to have found one. Three. Swung on, struck out. 
That's only Flores' fourth strikeout of the game. Ramon, Ramon Laureano stepping up to the plate. Counts 0-1 with that check swing. Contact sent that one foul. Count is 0-2. Loriano looks focused. Flores looking a little tired, but he still managed to get a strikeout. Fifth of the game for Flores. <laughs> Due up, Alfonso, Malgari, and Allen for the Erie Seawolves. Welcome back here to Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland. Seawolves are at bat now at the bottom of the sixth. Elizar Alfonso. That swing and a dance, it's 0-1 now. Beaver throws. Counts now 1-1. One Counts one and two one with that two swing. Straight. Sent foul again. Count is one and two, but Alfonso stays alive at the plate. Ball two. High outside with that one. Two and two is the count. That contact sent foul. Count remains at two and two. Alfonso remains at the plate. That's low. Full count now, three and two. On deck is Ben Mulgary for the Seawolves. Alfonso's making contact, sending a lot foul. Full count, three and two, Alfonso. Aye. Swung at that one, missed it. Strikeout, eight for Bieber. Take a look. Looks good. Missed it. Missed it all day. One out now here, bottom of the sixth. Now Gary gets contact on it, sent foul, counts on one. Now Gary struck out once, flew out the next time. He is 0 for 2. Contact was sent. He's out. Good effort. And it was returned to first base before he could make it there. Brady Allen, one for two. He had a single this game in the first inning. Bieber has thrown 71 pitches now as we near the seventh hey. inning. 72nd pitch was a strike. Count is 0-1. Swung on that one. No ball, two Count strikes. is 0-2. Bieber delivered that one outside. Allen got contact with it. Senate foul. Count remains at 0-2. Outside oh, again. Count is 1-2 now. 75 pitches for Shane Bieber. I think he's getting tired. That's low and outside. Count is now 2-2. Two and two. Brady Allen would get a hit here. He made contact with it, sent foul. Count remains at two and two. Bieber's definitely looking a little worn as he nears 80 pitches. Swung on, sent into the outfield. That should be enough to get Allen to first base. Oh yeah, he's there.
Take a look again. Comes off the bat. Sent into the outfield low. Seawolves can get the base runners on. They can't get them home. Let's see what happens now. Austin Murray at bat. One for two for the day. Bieber delivers. Oh, one count. Oh, and one. Bieber fires, it's outside, counts one and one now. That That's delivery it. is also oh, outside of that fastball. Count goes to two and one. Starting to wonder what the skipper's thinking. That's ball three. That's a stolen base there. Let's take a look at this. There was the leadoff at the pitch. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Well done. Runner in scoring position now. Austin Murr. Count three and one. Two out. Full count now at three and two. Is Austin Murr going to bring some runs in for the Wolves? Or the Guardians going to guard another inning? Swong sent to first to tag the bag. That'll end the sixth. Again, the Seawolves had a chance to get some runs. It didn't pan out. Score, Cleveland one, Erie nothing. Due up for the Guardians, Naylor, Brennan, and Rocchio here. At Progressive Field. Welcome back to Progressive Field. Bo Naylor up now. 0 for 2 for the day with a strikeout and a flyout. Flores still on the mound for the Wolves. Low pitch at the top of the seventh. 1 and 0 is the count. We have a VIP in the ballpark, ladies and gentlemen. Iron Man Duck has just entered Progressive Field. I repeat, Iron Man Duck has entered Progressive Field. That is another ball on the outside thrown by Flores. He's looking tired, and Naylor knows it. Count is 3-0. and oh. hey. Good strike there. Count goes to 3-1. and one. Swung on that one. Sent foul. Full count now at 3-2 and two for Bo Naylor. Contacted it, sent into the opening, into the outfield. This is going to be a single for Naylor. Top of the seventh. Guardians have one on base. Let's take a look. Good off. Into the open space. Looked like the Seawolves were wondering what was going on. I think the coach is coming to the mound to talk to the hurler. Flores pitched a good game. He pitched a really good game. No shame in that. He can take a rest. Who are the Seawolves going to bring in to put on the mound? For the Erie Seawolves, we have Cam Brown. 88, 92 mile per hour sinker. Changeup, 81 to 86, and his cutter goes 86 to 90 with a slider coming in at 81 to 85 miles per hour. Are those speeds enough? To fool the Guardian's eyes, let's find out. Aye. Fired in right away, counts 0-1 oh oh against Will Brennan. Cam fires. Contact, sent foul, count 0-2 oh now against Brennan. Three. 
That's in the strike zone. And that will retire Brennan. Brian Rocchio is up now. He's one for two. He had a double in the fifth inning. Cam Brown thrown three pitches, one strikeout. Another strike. Count of 0-1 against Brian Rocchio. That's a ball outside. Counts one and one. Rokio saw an opportunity, sent it out there. It was intercepted. Good catch of the Seawolves, number 19. It's two outs now here at the top of the seventh. Miles Straw at the plate. Brown delivers. Straw connects. And that will end. The seventh inning, first half. Coming up for the Seawolves, we have Young, Myers, and Joyce, Cleveland leading 1-0 to zero here at Progressive Field. Welcome back from the break. Jace Young now up at the plate. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a pop out for the day. Beavers still on the mound for the Guardians. Speaking of that, we have Barlow. Henches are in the bullpen. Is Bieber going to take a break? Because he's pitched a heck of a game. 86th pitch here. Swung on. Count is 0-2. Now. Young swings. Sends it foul. Count remains at 0-2. Young got a piece of that. It ended up going foul. A souvenir on the left field side. Count is 0-2 now. Bieber fires. Young connects. Sent foul again. Count remains at 0-2. 90th pitch there was a ball. Outside. Count is 1-2. Young connects. Ball is sent He's to first. Out. Young is sent to the dugout. Chris Myers coming up to the plate for the Seawolves. He is the first baseman. He's 0 for 2 for the day. Good contact there. Sent high. And it hits the wall, comes back in, but it will be a double. Chris Myers hits a double off the outfield wall. Good contact, looked good. Guardians couldn't get there in time. Looked like it could have been real good. But the Seawolves will take the double. That puts a runner in scoring position. Corey Joyce up now, looking to bring his fellow Seawolf across the plate. No. Ball on the outside. Count is 1 and 0. Corey Joyce is 0 for 2, a strikeout and a ground out today, both times at bat. Bieber is going into the 94th pitch. Kicks and delivers. Swung. Sent foul. Count is 1 and 1. I have to say there's a lot of love in this crowd for both the Erie Seawolves and the Cleveland Guardians. That's low. Counts two and one after that ball. Joyce is looking. Bieber's noticing what's going on at second. That's a pop-up all the way. They got a hold of it. No use tagging up there because there's nowhere to go. It's almost like he didn't want to give the ball to Beaver. 
Gage Workman steps up to the plate for the Erie Seabold. Bieber delivers the pitch. Workman connects to it, sends the foul count his own one. Bottom of the seventh, two outs. Cleveland leading 1-0 over the Erie Seawolves. Nope. Ball low outside. Counts one and one now. Bieber's looking a little tired. 99th pitch there. Count two and one. I wouldn't be surprised. They pull him soon. Ball three. After that, count is three and one. Sewell looking to put some numbers on the board. Swung for a full count now. Three and two is that sent foul. Another one sent foul. Workman stays alive. Full count of three and two. Three. Swung on that one, which was on the outside, to end the seventh and lose another chance to put some numbers on the board. Bieber looks a little tired. Guardians leading one to zero here at Progressive Field. Coming up for the Guardians now, Stephen Kwan, as we're at the top of the eighth, Cleveland leading by one. Kwan is 0 for three today. Cam Brown throws another strike in there. Count is 0-1. Cam Brown is throwing some heat today. The Seawolves knew how to close out this game. Eight. Second strike right in there. Count is 0-2. Two Quan swings on it, sends it foul. Count 0-2. Juan swings again, sent foul. Count remains at 0-2, and, and Juan stays at the plate. Good contact on that one. That should be at least a double. Seawolves outfield, a little confused. The other one trying to find a door to get out, apparently. Let's take a look at that again. Pitch comes across. Ball sent into the outfield. Way out there. Yep, there's that fake door. Pitch is thrown. It's returned. Do they have the speed to get it there? There's Got one it. out. But we have a runner on third. Now got it. Third base. One out now. Jose Ramirez, he had a walk in the first inning. 0 for 2 otherwise. Let's do it, here, Counts one and and here are the cheers of the 23,372 in attendance. And a lot are rooting for the Erie Seawolves. Cam Brown fires another strike in there. Count is one and one. That's that one through. was outside. Count two, two and one. one now. Ramirez standing tall. Swung on that one. Counts two and two. two, two count. Blew right by the bat. Enough there to keep the count at two and two. To keep Ramirez batting. Cam fires. Ramirez makes contact. Sent foul. Count stays at two and two.
Good contact there sent into the outfield that should raise the score to two. And Ramirez makes the first. Cleveland now leading by two score of two to zero. Take a look. Good contact kept low into the outfield. Runner scored. Ramirez goes to first. Josh Naylor up. He had a home run. Safe. And two for three for the day. Ramirez trying to steal bases. I guess it's time to show off a little. Ball. Here it comes. He's safe. safe. We have Ramirez in scoring position now at second with that stolen base added to the resume. Let's look at this. The pitch was on. He had plenty of time. He was there waiting with a drink in hand. Intentional walk. Seawolves are worried because they knew. The white field number 10. Naylor crushed one last time. Loriano. Loriano now. Runner on second and first. Outside, count 1-0. and oh. This is the moments where you wonder what's going through the Seawolves' head. They just want to keep runs from coming in? Or are they going to put it on when they have a chance at bat? Cam Brown delivers. That is a strike. Counts 1-1 one and one against Loriano. The Low point. there. Count goes to 2-1. and one. There is one out here at the top of the eighth. One runner in scoring position, but the Seawolves aren't going to give up. Brown fires. That's a strike. Counts two and two. This could be a double play. And it was a beautiful double play by the Seawolves there to take us to the middle of the eighth. Jose Ramirez with that single there. And then it turned into a stolen base. That was a very good round for the Guardians. Luke Gold steps up to the plate now for the Seawolf. The bottom of the eighth. Cleveland leading by two. Aye. Swung on that one. one. In the Guardians bullpen, we have Clyde and Henches warming up. Bieber's still on the mound, thrown 104 pitches this game. One ball, one strike. Fastball was a bit high. You can tell Bieber's getting tired. Counts one and one. Another ball. high. Count two and one against Luke Gold. The Guardians know what they're doing. That's ball three. Count is three and one now. Aye. Full count of three and two That's against cool. Luke Gold. That contact leaves the count at full but it leaves Luke at bat. Beaver's looking tired. I think they should let him rest. Good contact there. Is it enough to go out? All right, that's off the wall. That should be a double without issue. Yeah, he's in there. Helmet came off. Might want to put that back on, but a nice double by Luke Gold. Let's take a look at it. Contact off the bat looked good where I was I thought it might have gone out but no it was returned but the damage was done and gold slid his way into second Guardians coming to the mound to talk to Bieber who's thrown a heck of a game don't feel bad about that well done Shane nice game put that one in the books get yourself a rest who are they going to bring in Scott Barlow coming in to replace Bieber. He's been in 63 games, seven holds, 68 innings pitch. Strikeout rate at 26.4. Let's see how he does to close out this game. 
at home. Runner on second now. Alonzo at the plate. Score two to zero. Alfonso is 0 for 2 with a strikeout and the ground out. But with no outs, count of 1 and 0, and a runner in scoring position. Are the Seawolves thinking a different game? Ball two. Low ball, count goes 2 and 0. Good contact. If they could be there, the Guardians could grab this for an out. And they do. That's one out now. Number 22, Ben Mulgary, steps up to the plate for the Erie Seawolves. Again, the Erie Seawolves are a Detroit Tiger affiliate team. But they hail from Erie, Pennsylvania. Which isn't that far from Cleveland. One -oh. That's a wild pitch there. We had a runner advance to third. Let's take a look at it. That pitch goes crazy. Couldn't get a hold of it. Just call me Mr. Butterfingers. And we have a runner. Now in scoring position on third. Cleveland's still up by two. Ball. Barlow pitches. Two Count balls. two and oh. Guardians could shut them out. Hey. That's a strike there. Count two and one now. Well, Gary 0 for 3 for the game. Let's see if he can change that. Hey. Swung on that one. Counts two and two. Two balls, two strikes. That swing looked personal. Low and outside. Full count, three and two. Brady Allen on deck for the Seawolf. Ball four, that pitch is That's in. outside low, and that is a walk. First walk allowed here. Brady Allen now coming up to bat. He had two singles. A single here would do some good. Hey. That dropped in just right oh, for a count of bone one. Swung on that one, sent foul, counts on two against Brady Allen. Swung on that one, and that gets you a seat back with your team. Let's take a look. Barlow delivers that one. Low, swung on, sent home. Sorry. Austin Murr, one for three. Runners in the corners. That's a strike count of 0-1. Runner still in the corner. He had a single in the fourth. There's a chance to bring in a run for his team if he can even get a single. That's a ball. Outside. Counts 1-1. One and one. If you look in the crowd, you can see MLB, the show, shirts. Glad to see the support. Swung on that one. Sent into the outfield. Looks like the Guardians are going to be there to grab it. And that will end the eighth. Two good chances to get a run for the Seawolves. And that was lost. Guardians leading two to nothing with Naylor, Brennan, and Rocchio up next for the Guardians when we return. 
Trevin Michaels coming in to finish out the pitching for the Seawolves. We're back here at Progressive Field, downtown Cleveland. Night game, beautiful weather. Let's see if some of this speed that we see here is put into action. Bo Naylor steps up to the plate for the Guardians. He's one for three today. Guardians leading two to nothing, top of the ninth. Ball, that's in. First pitch by Michaels outside. Count is one and oh. Ball, that's just out. Outside again. Count two and oh. Michael may have some wild pitches in him. Sent foul, counts two and one. Naylor looks positioned to send something if he connects with it right. But he's sending it all foul, counts two and two. Josh Naylor did have a home run earlier in the game. But Bo is one for three. That's count outside. Full count now at three and two. Up on deck, we have Will Brennan. He had a stolen base and a walk during this game. That's outside. But they called it as a strike. That looked way outside to me. Let's take a look. I'd say that's outside, but. Game goes on, ladies and gentlemen. Game goes on. Michael fires against Brennan. Brennan connects, sends it into the outfield with enough to get him to first base without any issues. Seems to be a lot of holes in the, in the outfield lately on both teams. But what do I know? I just sit up here and call things. He's safe at first, taking that lead off. Rokio, one for three today. Can he raise the number on the scoreboard? Inside, ball one. That's outside. Counts one and oh. He had a double in the fifth. Double now with put two runners in scoring position. Sent foul. Counts one and one. Rokio has good reach. He connects with a lot. Good there. Looks like the outfield's ready to plug this one. Good glove on it. And that keeps anyone from advancing bases. Good play. Two outs. Top of the ninth. Miles Straw. 0 for 3 today. Last was a ground out in the seventh. Straw connects, sends it low into the outfield. That will put a runner on third with no issue. So now we have runners in the corner with Steven Kwan up at the plate. He's one for four today. Michael delivers outside, counts one and oh. I'm sure Cleveland would like to see the numbers go up on the scoreboard. Erie would like to get on the scoreboard. But either way, the fans are going to be pleased with this exhibition game. Two balls, Outside no on play. that one, counts 2-0. Oh. Trevin Michael has the speed. Does he have the nerves to hold it here against this team? Good connection there, which will be into the outfield. Not caught. That does raise the score to 3-0. and oh. Puts runners back in the corners. Here comes another one. He's out there at the plate, so we go to the middle of the ninth. Let's take a look at this one one more time. Coming up for the Erie Seawolves when we come back, Jace Young, Chris Myers, and Corey Joyce. Welcome back to Progressive Field here in downtown Cleveland for tonight's game. And Emmanuel Clays coming to the mound. Ball one. Counts one and oh. 
Blase coming in today to finish this out. Let's see how his arm is. Good recovery there. That should be the first base with no problem. First out, bottom of the ninth. Despite, no matter what the outcome is, the Seawolves played a very good game. Guardians just always play well. Fase fires. Counts 0-1 there. That was high. Swung on, sent foul. Counts 0-2. Outside, sent foul. Myers stays alive with that. Count is 0-2. Myers one for three on the day. All one. That's high outside. Counts one and two now. Way to be patient, I heard from the crowd. Well, that's nice. Positive, positive. Swung on that one like it was a gnat. Sends him sitting down. Corey Joyce now coming up to the plate. There's two outs here, bottom of the ninth. Fosse fires. Yeah. Good strike. Counts 0-1. Second delivery is high and outside. Counts one and one. Ah. That one was in there. One ball, two strikes. Count now one and two. Three. Guardians win. Struck out, swinging. It was a beautiful game overall. We saw a good play from both sides. Everyone gave it their all. Final score, Cleveland Guardians three, Seawold zero. Shane Bieber, great pitcher throughout the day, lost for Wilmer Flores. Flosse was the save pitcher for the day. Looking at this, we see Josh Naylor's home run early on in the game. It set the pace as everybody continued to play well on both sides. Bieber was throwing fire for the Guardians. Flores pitching like crazy for the Seawolves. But in the end, it was the Guardians that kept it together at their home field, the Progressive. And they were not able to be toppled by the Seawolves. Guardians win, three to zero, progressive field, night game. This is Avam saying thank you for allowing me to comment on your game today. If you'd enjoyed it, consider stopping by to the ballpark again on Twitch and give me a follow there or check the game out on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for all that you do. This is Avam saying I hope you have an excellent day and I'll see you at the next game.